In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Generate Similar feature in Photoshop. This feature is great to use if you are iterating on ideas or getting more detailed with your generated images. In this example, I'm going to start out with this image of these plates. It's kind of a weird photo because there's just cherries and a sprig of rosemary on the plate, so we're going to put an actual meal here. I don't know exactly what I want, but I do want Photoshop to help me with coming up with ideas, so I'm going to select the general area of this plate where food would realistically be. Then I'm going to click Generative Fill. I'm just going to type in dinner and see what Photoshop comes up with. Great, so you can see the variations that Photoshop generated down in this corner. This first option seems to be some sort of gourmet soup. The second option looks like a meat pancake. I'm not sure what's going on there. And our third option looks like a piece of steak and a chicken drumstick with a lime in the background. So of these options, the only ones that I would actually consider using are one or three, but I wanna see what else we can create from these. So what you're going to do is hover over one of these variations that you like, and in the top right corner of that variation, you'll see three dots. Click on those and then click Generate Similar. This is going to generate a new set of variations based on the concept or the contents of the variation that you selected. So in this example, you can see that it generated a few more soups for us. And then let's go back to that image of the steak and do the same thing. So we click those three dots and we click Generate Similar. Obviously, this is not perfect yet. We have some mystery meats happening here, but you can see that these are generally meat-ish or steak-ish looking plates that it generated, and it does have the same general contents as that variation that we selected. So hopefully this feature will get better over time at generating realistic images. Uh, but this is just a good way to generate more variations to choose from. Now, in this case, I do think that original variation of the steak was the one that we're going to go with. And then to go with our steak and chicken drumstick dinner, we can do the same thing with this glass. I think it's a water glass, but I'm going to select the area that liquid would be in, click generate, and type in wine. Only one of these three variations even kind of looks like wine, so I'm going to generate similar for this variation. From there, I would say these look like some sort of white wine, so I'll select this one in the middle. And our image is complete. So that is how you use the generate similar feature in Photoshop. If this was helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next one.